What up, it's Josh, your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger, and I am giving you guys my new and improved Ultimate 250 Honda setup. This bike is absolutely insane. Joe Shimoda approved it, and I gotta say, I've done a lot of testing here at Millville. This is probably my worst track of the AMA Nationals outdoors, but I'm here to show you that I've really just been able to conquer this whole freaking track with this new setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into why I'm using a 90 in the front and a 100 in the back. I think realistically, the 90, because of Beta 19, allows you to turn this bike over more without getting a front tuck and or clipping your bar animation and that is huge being in this game because a lot of people struggle where their gain and direct lean should be and I think I've had everything completely dialed in with that 90 in the front and a 100 just being able to allow me to get so much power and torque to the bike next up I just really want to talk about the suspension I mean really Millville is probably the most bumpiest ride ever getting up this hill and down this hill the suspension really matters and I think it is absolutely the biggest key to this setup uh, just being able to already know the bike is completely planted already but being able to absorb and not get that um kind of big tank bounce to where when you start actually in absorbing some of these bounces is huge uh, phenomenal next up i really want to talk about is power to the bike now the honda already has insane power but i think i've literally maximized this power using a 1451 this thing just eats up going up hills um i don't know if you guys seen my last video for Walshugel, the husqvarna and honda but Definitely this thing is absolutely to die for. I enjoy the 1451 more than I enjoy the 1452. I think I just really in the late game get a lot of power staying in second gear, getting back up to third gear. It is absolutely amazing and especially on some of these high altitude tracks like um, here at Lakewood, excuse me. Here at Lakewood, you can really see that, you know, MX Bikes doesn't really have an altitude change, but um, being more rough and being more, you know, elevated, you can definitely see that you need more speed in some of these tracks. And especially here in this RNG kind of back position, you can see the suspension really soak up all those bumps and the speed carry you through it. That is what I love. That is why I enjoy this Honda 250 and I'm glad to give it out to you guys. Um, I never like the gatekeep and I enjoy that, but the geometry, the mapping is the hugest thing. 2021, this is probably the most powerful mapping on the Honda 250. If you guys are running that 2022 or 2023, you guys are wrong. You need to be going there, but also with the geometry, you guys can understand how fat and how heavy this front end is to where when you start to get into tight corners, you can probably get that bar drag or front tucking. I think I've eliminated this this whole problem inside of this bike just between all that. So yeah, thank you. Shout out to my boy Ben for just helping me figure this all out and get this bike to where it needs to be for the standard of you guys. And hopefully you guys can start qualifying with this. I even went to Paula. Um, I really struggled at Paula and especially saying I hated Stone Rider's ruts and how this was, but it actually surprised me that I was actually able to go back on this track and get really tight cornering without actually front tucking or and or clipping the bars where, you know, <laughs> Pavosa physics happens. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoy the setup. Um, I'm glad and hopefully you guys just kind of understood the information I was giving you. Um, and I greatly appreciate it. If you guys enjoy the setup, hit the like button and subscribe button. And it's your boy IBS Kelso. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. So boy, peace.